that's much better. Did you guys know that some baseball players used to pee on their hands so they could get a better grip of the baseball bat? There are many interesting facts about baseball throughout its history that we don't know about. Baseball has had a major impact on the American culture. Today, I will be informing you guys on the brief history of baseball in America, highlighting some of the key eras, as well as major events that happened throughout the history. The era of baseball from 1900 to 1919 was known as the dead ball era. As games tended to be very low scoring and dominated by small ball techniques like bunting, stealing, and hit and runs. In 1920, however, rule changes made it illegal for pitchers to throw trick pitches like spitballs, shine balls, and other pitches. It also required umpires to put in new baseballs when the balls became discolored or scuffed like this baseball right here. The end of the dead ball era led rise to one of the most famous baseball players of all time, Babe Ruth. Ruth's power hitting ability demonstrated a new way to play the game of baseball and was very popular with the baseball crowds. Ruth's most famous for calling his shot in game three of the 1932 World Series. On April 15, 1947, the most famous event in baseball history occurred as Jackie Robinson debuted for the Brooklyn Dodgers, breaking baseball's color barrier. Even though Jackie Robinson may have not been the most talented player in the Negro Leagues, he had the strength and courage to withstand the racism that he would receive from both the players and the fans in the MLB. Later that year, Robinson would be named Rookie of the Year, and today his number 42 is retired across every major league stadium. 1958 was the start of the expansion era in baseball, as the Brooklyn Dodgers and the New York Giants both moved to California. These two teams became the first teams to play on the other side of the Mississippi River in baseball history. The Brooklyn Dodgers would move to Los Angeles and the New York Giants would move to San Francisco. The key to the expansion era in baseball was the rise of television as it increased the revenue in baseball dramatically and teams gained a national audience for the first time. Television created sports channels such as ESPN and Fox Sports and allowed fans to watch virtually every game at home. Since fans could watch virtually every team in every game at home, players gained superstar status for the first time. On August 8, 2007, Barry Bonds broke Hank Aaron's all-time home run record, marking the end of the steroid era in baseball. Before 2004, there was no penalty for the use of performance-enhancing drugs in baseball. However, the issue gained national attention when in 1998, both Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire broke Roger Maris' home run record of 61 in a season. Since then, many dominant players have been busted for the use of PEDs, with the most recent dominant player being Alex Rodriguez. Today, for the first time being caught with PEDs, you get an 80 game ban, the second time a season long ban, and the third time a lifetime ban from the MLB. Baseball has had a major impact on the culture in America and in sports. Baseball has given away to many award-winning films such as The Sandlot and Moneyball. Baseball has also inspired the creation of baseball cards, which is now extended to almost every sport in America. The most prominent impact that baseball has had on society, however, is the baseball hat, which can now be seen all over America with many different designs and logos, including other sports too. Today baseball is thriving as in each of the past two years it has brought in more revenue than the previous year. Baseball is played worldwide, however the best town is in the MLB where there are currently 30 teams, 15 in the National League, 15 in the American League. These teams play 162 games each year competing for the World Series at the end of the year. It has been my honor to briefly explain the history of baseball in America to you guys. And just remember, baseball is has and always will be America's pastime.